Hello, a very good morning. Um, be back with my another very cool tip. Basically, um, this tip is about isolating an object while you're working in your large file scenes. So, for example, if you have a huge file scene available to you and you need to work on uh, different objects in the scene, and while you're working on this, then you need to sometimes just view that particular object and not the entire scene. So, for that, we actually use something called isolate select within Maya. Um, some people know that but again there are lots of people who are not aware of it so for example within this cabinet I need to work on this little kettle here uh, but currently as you can see I've already placed in here and inside an object and there's lots of things going on if I just need to work on that I can go into my show isolate and view selected what that will do is it will hide every other thing within the Maya and I will only get to see that one single particular object and then I can go back into show, isolate and view selected. The shortcut for that is control one. So if you press control one, basically it will turn the isolate selection on. And then again, we go into show, isolate, select and we use control one again to make it available. So you can basically isolate any particular object that you want to working in. So for example, if I'm working on this top and I don't want to see anything else, I click on isolate, select, press F to frame into that object. Now I have only this object to work on within Maya. Once I complete the work on that, I can go back into my show, isolate and uncheck that. Now everything is back. So this is a very cool thing to do. It avoids lots of confusions. Again, there is something called auto load new objects. This basically means that if I press control one or if I go into, sorry, if I go into show, isolate, select, control one, uh, this will isolate. But if I create a new object, for example, polygon cube, uh, this would show up in the new isolation view, right? So that basically it means that. So if you do certain operations and you know Maya just deletes the original and recreates a new one with input history. So uh, uh, that would basically mean that object would stay there. And then auto load selected objects would basically mean that whatever object you have selected that will be visible. And if you deselect anything, it's gone. So if I select this object, uh, I can go into that view, isolate, select, and this object is there. Otherwise, the rest of the remaining objects will basically be uh, hidden. So this is a very cool tip. Use it. Thank you very much. This is Dr. Zishan. Uh, take care. See you around. Fiamanullah.